joined by Betsy Klink tonight. And Betsy, we are gearing up for an historic weekend here in Northeast Ohio and for NASA's mission to go back to the moon. That's it. NASA is getting ready to send humans back to the moon. And one of the most critical pieces of the entire project, the Orion Crew Capsule, will be arriving in northern Ohio this weekend for testing. The mission is massive, and each step along the way is complicated, but NASA is relying on an old and odd-looking friend to carry some very precious cargo. The Super Guppy is NASA's big and crazy looking oversized cargo transport plane that will bring Orion, the next generation of human space vehicles, right here to Northeast Ohio for critical testing. We joke a lot the path to, to the moon and Mars goes through Sandusky and through Ohio and Cleveland. Recently at Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the packaged up capsule was loaded into the Super Guppy. One of the unique features of the Guppy is how it's loaded. The nose swings open a full 110 degrees. But obviously what makes it special is its size. Echo! Echo! With a fuselage that is 25 feet high, 25 feet wide, this plane has carried other critical pieces of space shuttles and the International Space Station. The Guppy is definitely a feat of aeronautical engineering, but it isn't necessarily the most state-of-the-art. There's no, no computer flying this thing? No, we have no autopilot. Um, the closest thing we have to avionics that are upgraded is this box, which is probably good 1990s technology. Orion will be the heaviest payload the plane has ferried. In order to save weight, they won't be able to fill the fuel tanks all the way, so the guppy will have to make a couple stops on the way to Mansfield. But once it gets here, it's a total team effort to have a smooth landing. This airplane can stop really quickly because of all the drag, so it's not, you don't have to worry about critical length of, of the field to land, but it's that very strange handling characteristics down low that you know you, you your two hands on the on the yoke all the way to touch down your flight engineers are controlling your power it's a ballet going on with effectively priceless gear in the back well, as of now, the guppy is expected to land Sunday around 2.30 in the afternoon at Mansfield's Lom Airport. But due to a number of any reasons, that may be delayed for a short or a long period. I'll keep you updated this weekend through social media on how things time out. Once the capsule is here, it will be transported to Sandusky and undergo a couple months of rigorous space environment testing at NASA's Plumbrook facility. We put our in-depth report on Orion and the whole Artemis mission on our WKYC YouTube page. Sarah? So fascinating. Mm -hmm. Really exciting for it to get here. Thanks, Betsy.